What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Kiana Janae. I is me, honey. Me is she love. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know like it'd be a long time in between the time that I, I post a video, then post another video. So I figure why not post a little chit chat, get ready with me, even though I'm not going anywhere, get to know me better video. So if you want to chit chat and get ready with me, just keep on watching. Hey, so we're going to start with this hair. Cause I'm looking a uh, real mess right now. Ooh. So I'm gonna just spray a little. I, even, I just washed it, but I'm going to just spray a little bit of water because it dry. I had it in like one of my little head wrap towels. And I'm doing a, uh, I'm going to attempt to do a slick bun with the part to the side, to the back. So. As you know, my name is Kiana Janae. Um, I'm 25 years old. I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, and the reason why I started my YouTube was because so many, well, yeah, years ago, I started getting into makeup. And when I started YouTubing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, I really got to go to school for this because I'm see me, I'm not the school type. So, I'm like, I, I ain't got to go to school. I can learn. I can freelance. So, as I was getting really into it, I came across Miss Aaliyah J. And when I say I feel like Aaliyah living her best life, that's getting and, like, putting out content because when you, you know, you suffer from, like, depression or self-esteem, you always think nothing you do is going to work anyway. But right now, I'm in a good space, so I'm just like, I'm going to start my YouTube. I'm not waiting on nobody else. Sorry if y'all see me looking down my mirror right here. I'm not waiting on nobody else to tell me that I can do something that I know I can do and something that I want to do. You know what I mean? So, if you, if that's you and you watching this video, sis, get in front of your iPhone like me. Get you a little ring light. Even if you don't, get you a little tripod. Set it up in front of the window and start recording, okay? Because at the end of the day, you are your biggest critic. So whether I put this video out and y'all like it or not, I'm still going to keep doing it. And I'm just going to build myself up, build myself up, build myself up. Because that's how you're supposed to do it. Sis, don't wait on nobody else, okay? Do you. What I do like is the excellence i see on youtube like Aaliyah j and i like how she don't let the rumors stop her from doing what she want to do like she never feel like she gotta address everything you know what i'm saying because everything don't deserve a response so that's all i'm saying about it but what i do like to see is people like dear and ken or hen and lawn and um who else Kristen Alexis Sparkle Marie. I just came across her YouTube. I love her energy. I love her spirit. One day I could get where they all are. So, what else about me? Okay. I'm single. I ain't got no time for the F boys. You understand? I'm not doing that. We're not going down that road again. You can give your all to somebody and they can really just not care about you. And the whole time they never did. It was just you because you ain't want to be lonely. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that. Sis, don't be that girl. When it's time to let go, let go. So, until God placed somebody in my life that I feel like is worthy. Well, if God placed them, then I know they're worthy. But I'm not, I'm not focused on that right now. I'm focused on building my YouTube, getting a following. And that's about it right now. So, and who else I like on YouTube? Um, dang. So Sophia, so Sophiology. I like her. She's I love her. She's so motivating. I love her. I'm so sad I ran out of my eco salvage. It was only a little bit left. I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm sad about this. 
So tell me in the comments down below if you canceled, if you canceled Eco Starter Gel. I know I'm not canceling it. The way it laid my hair down, I am not canceling Eco. They are here to stay, hunty. Seriously. My birthday coming up, y'all, November the 11th. And today, I think it's September, September 26th. Well, your girl be 26 years old. Tell y'all about me. Single. I just encourage you to subscribe and stay along for the ride. Like, I'm so appreciative of the following that I have now. But if it can grow, if you want to join the fam, go ahead and click that subscribe button, sis. Sis or bro, I don't discriminate. Click that subscribe button, okay? For real, like, it's it's about to get real out here, real, okay? So you might want to stick around. Because I don't want nobody trying to rob my coattail when I'm shaking hands and rubbing elbows with Aaliyah J and we at a Maybelline event or we at a Too Faced event. I don't want you to be like, oh, I know her. No. You knew me, but you didn't support me, so stay where you are. Because at this point, <laughs> you know what you are. <laughs> it might be some own voice. Bad <laughs> experience in Sephora, like, I mean, really bad. I was shopping, and at the time, I was with, I was with some of my friends. And I don't know if any of my followers is from my area in the King of Prussia Mall. And it might have been around the holiday time because I want to say the heat was on in the store. It was just hot in the store or something. Or we had on coats. It was something. But I was looking to buy a new, you know, foundation, a couple brushes, stuff like that. I was just, like, really starting to understand how to, you know, use other things other than just foundation. I was getting into contour and I was getting into highlighting. I was getting into stuff like that. So... The lady, it's just, I noticed that this one lady just kept following me. Like, if I go to, let's say, where the skincare was at, she was right behind me. You need help with anything? I'm like, no, I'm just looking. Thank you, though. Like, after a while, it started getting repetitive, and I started getting irritated. Like, what do you want? Like, why are you still over here? And she was just like, you need help with anything? You need help with anything? You need help? I'm like, no. So, then... My best friend, her little sister was with us. My little, Her little sister and her friend was with us. And they came in so far. They had been shopping, I want to say, like, Forever 21, H&M. You know, so they came in the store with a lot of bags. So once they was, you know, start walking around the store with us, they really started getting suspicious. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? My, my sister, my sister, like, let me just, um, come on. You ready, Key? Like, we, you ready to go? Because at this point, it was, it was getting a bit annoying. Like, what do y'all think we're, we're trying to do? First of all, don't think because we black, we still. And don't think because we got a lot of bags, we're going to cash out in here with our five finger discount. No, that's not what we're going to do. So I get in the line and a lady, you know, she's talking to me. She asked for my number. And I, that's when I had signed up for my rewards or whatever. And they still following. Like, I'm in line at this point. So, when they start seeing me pull all these $100 bills out of my wallet, then they, they like, oh, 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 you, you, need, you, you need this? Oh, here's a free sample of this. And I'm just like, you know what? Okay, this is mad weird. I don't want nothing to do with this shit. So, I walked out the store, and here comes the fucking security, y'all. The fucking security. Who the fuck calls security on somebody who just paid for their fucking stuff? Like, that shit is fucking stupid. So, the security man told us that they called on us. Like, and when I turn, oh, God. Mm, just thinking about it making me so, so mad. When I turned around, I looked at the lady. She like, what's the problem? We like, you call security on us and we all just pay for our stuff. She like, well, don't shop here no more then. I know she was fucking lying. I know she was fucking lying. You racially profiled me and then you gonna tell me don't shop in your store no more? Oh, trust me, honey, I won't. You won't get another dime of my money. 
not only did they racially profile me, they just made me feel like I, I, I wasn't worth anything. So, I ended up finding a good plate with corporate and everything. Like, I don't think I have been back to Sephora since. But when I went online, it was a lot of reviews saying that they are racist and they will do stuff like that to people of color or people from other country, countries like the Mexicans or Indians and stuff like that. Like, Sephora, I had a bad experience with Sephora. Back to my makeup. We're going to start with brows. This really is a chit chat get rid of me, isn't it? I'm going to use the, dip, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Okay. And I didn't know how I felt about this at first. Like, I've had this for a very long time. As you can see, it's still full. Like, I, I, I wasn't... You wasn't getting me. Anastasia, you wasn't getting me. You were not getting me at first. I'm like, maybe because I was just starting out, I really didn't know how to use it. But now that I know how to use it, it's better for me. And the reason why I do my primer first is because I just wanted to soak into my skin. So my, you know, just, I really wanted to soak into my skin so it can set a little bit. And I'm going to use my Morphe. Well, it's just an angle brush. It only has a number on here. So this is what I use to do my eyebrows with. And I don't know how y'all do your eyebrows, but I can't talk and do my eyebrows. And one thing I learned about eyebrows, it don't matter if you mess up because you want to conceal them and make them look good anyway. So, thank God for concealer. How about that? How about that? How about that? Because some days I have good eyebrow days. Some other days I don't. Like that time I was just telling y'all when it was like three in the morning, I was doing my makeup. I couldn't get, I couldn't use the pomade. Like I couldn't use this. I couldn't. I had to use my my Mac. Um, what is it? Spike. My spike pencil. Yeah, that's what it. I had to use that. Spike. Yeah, I had to use spike because the pomade wasn't working for me. And once I get better equipment, trust me, my quality of my content will be a whole lot better guys but i just thank you guys who all tune into my videos and actually like to interact with me even people on my social media like i i'm thankful that i have people who are willing to watch me so i, I really thank y'all from the bottom of my heart i truly do i know that's not the first time y'all heard me say that and it won't be the last i'm very grateful that I have a semi following right now. On my eyebrows, this one is way longer than this one. So bear with me, guys. And every, every time I put a brush down, I can't find it. I literally can't find it. It looks real dark on how the camera picking it up, but trust me, my eyebrows don't look like that. And they're going to be bound once I conceal them. I YouTubed how to do my eyebrows a thousand times before I got it right. And you know what? is always want to have something to say about you i mean always whether you fat skinny tall short somebody is always going to find something to say my advice to you is try your hardest to block it out because i know with this especially going through like self-esteem issues and stuff like that i know somebody always have something to say i just encourage you to Remember who you are. Stay true to who you are. Don't ever try to dummy yourself down for anybody. Somebody is always going to find something wrong with you. Shame on them. They're lost. Fuck them. And that's, that's what's really been getting me by these past 
I'm not even gonna lie, these past few weeks, I know with YouTube comes hater and a lot of trolling, and I'm ready for it. Because if you find something negative to say about somebody whose heart is pure and spirit is up and full of joy and love to smile, it's something wrong with you. And that's another thing I hate. You trolling asses that be in these comments having so much to say about another what somebody else doing on YouTube, like cut it out. You still watched her video. She still got that view. Or he or she still got that view. So what what was your whole point of you doing your little trolling? The argue? You're miserable. Get a fucking life. Seriously. Get a fucking life. But anyway. I can't wait to do my story time. I think it's fucking hilarious. But out of respect for who, who it's about, I won't say names, but... Cause he might watch the video and I don't want him to be like, dang, you telling my business. <clears throat> Even though it's not like, you know, nothing crazy. Well, it is crazy, but it ain't nothing like to be. It's just life. I can't wait to like officially get my camera and like a mic so the quality of sound can be better. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Did y'all watch the Bobby Brown story? Woody, if you ever see this video and you ever like, you know, single, I would love to take you on a date. I know that's bold to me. I know that's bold. And I know a lot of y'all gonna talk about me about it for it. Whatever. I don't care. Woody McLean, if you're ever looking for a date, I'm here. Okay? Very single, mind you. Okay? <laughs> for real, y'all. He owned that role. Like, he turned into Bobby Brown so much. It was crazy. I was crying, laughing. Like, everything was just... I loved it. I love that. Who's to say that Bobby not telling the truth? Because I heard an interview from, was it Oprah, that did with uh, Whitney's mother and brother. And he was saying how he introduced Whitney to cocaine. So, that could have possibly, you know, been Bobby downfall, Whitney. And you know what? I wish things could have went differently for the Browns. I truly do. Because they really loved each other. I mean, loved each other at their lowest point. Like, legit really was in love with each other. And everybody knew it. Especially if we indulging in the same things and... You know how life go. You can't judge them. Shit. Pretty sure learning over here. But once I conceal them, they'll be fine. Trust me. Uh, today, what am I going to conceal with today? I don't know if I want to use my Maybelline. My NARS. Or my tart. Did y'all cancel tart? A lot of people cancel tart for their skin shades. This is tan sand. A lot of people say that tart didn't have a lot of shades that they like, but I found my color. I found my shade. I don't know. Tart might be canceled though, because y'all can't be discriminating on a deeper skin tone, sunny. Because the melanin be shop hopping. Okay? Y'all can't be doing all that. Y'all can't be doing all that. Whatever. Why is it when I'm looking for a brush, I can't ever find it? Oh, let me put the top back on my dip brow for I don't have no more left. Or for a dry out, I should say. If you made it this far in this video, I thank you so freaking much. I don't even think I'm going to do like a
thing about makeup. You got to blend for your I'm life. Having. Like a ladies' night, right? So she like, oh yeah, we should do it. I'm like, girl, yes. I'm like, um, everybody wear lingerie, you know, get their sexy on. So then you know me. I'm the extra AF friend. Like, I mean, extra AF. So I'm like, yeah, girl, we should um hire a photographer. You know, we could do like a little what is it called? Boot war shoot. You know, just for us so we can get our little sexy on. She like, girl. <laughs> Girl, your iPhone gets <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, sis. We need a photographer. I was like, you know what? I'll host it since it was my idea. You know what I mean? I'll host it. I'll get the photographer. Because this is what I want. Yeah, I'm seriously the extra as fuck for him. Like... And I'm the funny one. And I'm the one everybody always calling. Girl, what you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. I got work in the morning. You ain't got work tomorrow, Kiana. I'm like, how you know what I got to do? Because you told me or <laughs> Don't tell me what I got to do. Let me know how y'all feel about seeing mukbangs on my channel. I think I'm going to get into mukbangs as well. I'm not going to make a whole separate channel for it, but... I wouldn't mind every now and again just, you know, doing a mukbang. I had asked my best friends, and they said, yeah. So, let me know if y'all want to see a mukbang on my channel. I'm very single. Let's get back to that topic. Very single, not dealing with no fuckboys. I'm not dealing with no man that I got to raise all over again. And in this generation, that's all it is. It was a whole lot of lying, baby making, and not taking care of them. I ain't got time. And I'm thinking I'm in a committed relationship. The next thing I know, I'm in a bar and then I'm fighting. Like, that's too much. Like, don't lie to people. Like, stop lying to these women. Like, for what? There's no reason to lie to these women. No fucking reason. So you lying just to get the kitty cat when I'm pretty sure she would have gave it to you if had you told the truth anyway. Maybe that's just what she wanted. Like, stop assuming these women is wanting full committed relationship when sometimes they just want a little freak nick. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop lying. And you might get the cookie quicker. Okay, let's get into Miss Aaliyah J, honey. Get into this glow up. And be be trying to like really go in on Aaliyah. Like, I like Aaliyah. I don't feel like she lies about anything. I just feel like her personal life is her personal life. And that's her preference. Like, we don't got to be all up in her business, even though she's a YouTuber. Like, please, people have lives outside of YouTube. Not everything she wants to talk about. Like, why y'all worry about she got butt implants? Isn't it y'all coming out of y'all pocket? Like, no, it's not. She shared with us that she got her boobs done. She shared with us that she got her teeth done. Okay, anything else other than that? Maybe she was really insecure about her butt. Like, stop. I'm going to do a lot of story times with y'all. So y'all really can, like, you know, have a look inside my life. And hopefully get more get ready with me videos. I blended for the gods, honey. You understand? I think... Should I do? Yeah. I, I'll do my eyes too. Just put my foundation on first, which I shouldn't have did. Because I want to use like a glitter. It's going to be fallout. I shouldn't have did that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use the Perception palette. Shayla. Why you got us like that, sis, over this palette? We love this palette. I don't see nothing wrong with this Shayla palette. Like, Shayla and ColourPop. Like, I'm the fuck shook. Like, what? What? Y'all see them colors in the payout? Ooh. The pigment on these joints ain't even a joke. Like... 
Shayla, you collaborated with God, honey. <laughs> this palette is the fucking truth, Shayla. I've been using it ever since. And then you can't, it got a mirror in it. Shayla, I'm sold. <laughs> I am sold. All right. <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing simple, simple, simple stuff. I'm going to be... Oh, shit. The fluffy brush. I'm going to use my Pro Crease brush in number 10. Oh, this from Sephora. This was must what I got when the last time I... Oh, I had this brush for a while then. Okay. So, I'm going to use my Perception palette from Shayla. And I'm going to go in with... Culture. Culture first. No, Fuck you. My best friend, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I didn't record my eye look. I was preoccupied. It's like my phone died. But let's get into this bake, honey. Let's get into it. Oh, what happened? Or, what's your Laura, Mer Laura Mercier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to have a darker one because you're in a darker skin tone than me. Ooh. Clean it up, cohort. I learned this new technique. I hope I like it. Highlighting all right there. Put that right there. So when I contour. I'm so scared to try it. I don't know why. What scared of contour? Why? I don't know. It's fun. It's well, I use powder right now because I don't have like a cream shade that I really want to like or get into. Maybe that's why. Why he's saying I use like the, the lipstick looking thing? The lipstick looking thing. That's what I want. I want one from Anastasia. Mm -hmm. He thought I was lying. Like he got a red one. I believe it's a she. I don't know. I was telling them how Sephora had racially profiled me that time. Um, you remember? Yeah. Me, Tanae, Tater, and Jair. But I was telling them how we don't really have a lot of makeup stores, you know what I mean, around here. So either Ulta, Sephora, you know, or Mac. Or Mac. Oh, we gotta go to appreciate I was telling them King of Pressure is like it's like you know yeah I'm like for the subscribers that's not from around here they not really gonna know what you know what these places are and I was just trying to tell them like yeah like Oh, now. Oh, you know what? Before I start doing all that, let me get these lashes popping. You want to be on my YouTube channel one day? Okay. They going to get to see the voice behind the camera? I'm not. Not <gasps> my lashes just fell. Fucking bitch. Where he sell them? He, no, he sell them. Some guy um, flew down here and gave him like a six. I said, how much? Is how much? Yes, yeah, how much? Honey, I need Fifty dollars. You gotta buy the pen, but you get the thing with the tip, with the lipstick. I was like, oh. I was like, when he coming back down here? He was like, I don't know. He only gave me five. I was like, oh. He was like, whoever you know wants them. I like them 
ink pens. They write so smooth. Good for the, the for the best letters. When I want to cuss somebody the fuck out. Let me stop cursing. I just I curse. So disclaimer: If you don't want to hear no cursing, don't watch. I should have said that in the beginning because I know my mom gonna watch it. Like, oh my gosh, Kiana Janae. Hey, this is why I don't watch your stuff. You curse too much. <laughs> my dad be like, <laughs> hey, hey, what <want> that mo? <laughs> Let that get tacky. Let me get this off, please. I'm gonna just poke myself in the damn eye. I don't wanna poke myself in the goddamn eye now. I wonder who called her that she had to step out. Mm. I'm feeling this. Shout out to Ashika Lee for letting me know. First of all, I follow her tutorial on how to put lashes on. And it works, sis. For one. Second of all, she told me don't bake my foundation without wetting my sponge first. And guess what? I meant my concealer. And guess what? It works, sis. Shout out to Ashika Lee. Look her up on YouTube. Thanks, Shika. All right. Okay. Do you find doing your left side is more hard when you're doing your makeup? Because I find it hard. Like, it's so hard to get it to look the same. Like, shit is ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to put the brush in the ring in. Alright. Let's highlight. Bronzed. I'm going to use my Tarte Ready Set Radiant. Smells like heaven. Sis, make sure you blot in your lip liner, okay? Don't be all here. Well, unblended lip liner. And 
and this color is it's just a model code lip lacquer and the color is morocco i hope i like this this is my first time using it oh it's shocking mm, 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 it smells good Hmm. Just spray one more time. Can't go wrong. I want to thank you guys for watching this chit chat. Get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you sub. No, I know you will subscribe. It's not hopefully. I know you will. Sis, these lashes are. I'm like I'm. I'm scared, bitch. I'm scared. I'm scared. These lashes just fucking pop. Anyway, I thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Kiana Janae's back. I see you guys in my next video.